Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking a thousand turn toroidal solenoid has a central radius of 4.2 centimeter and is carrying a current of 1.7 ampere. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field inside the solenoid at the central radius? And let's see how we can find it. So, first of all, uh, here they are asking for magnetic field. Let's uh, put the magnetic field equation first. So we know that uh, B is going to be equal to N mu naught I over L, right? N is number of turns, mu naught is uh, permeability constant, and I is current, and L is going to be length. Since this is a circle, right, the length is going to be 2 pi circumference. So we can also write this equation as N mu naught I over 2 phi r right so this is going to be the length for a circle now let's go ahead and plug the values to find this magnetic field number of turns is given by thousand turn so we are going to plug thousand right here and permeability constant is going to be 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 right and then we have the current that is 1.7 ampere uh, let's for forget about the units for now okay 1.7 ampere and then in the denominator we are going to have 2 phi times the radius is given in centimeter to convert that one into meter we have to multiply this one by 10 to the power of minus 2 right and if you find the final answer that's going to give you 8.1 millitesla and that's going to be the answer now let's do the second question so in the this question is asking in the figure two parallel wires carry currents of magnitude i in the opposite directions right so we have current going in opposite directions a rectangular loop is midway between the wires so we have this loop right here the current is decreasing with the time the induced current through the resistor r is what so they are asking which way the induced current in this loop will go through. Will it go through A to B or B to A? Let's see how we can figure it out. First of all, we have to know what is the magnetic field direction inside this plane. To find that one, to find that one what we do, we can uh, create a relationship. First of all, uh, we are going to find EMF, right? So if you write the EMF equation, that's going to be magnetic flux minus uh, d magnetic flux over dt right and this is equal to minus b magnetic flux is equal to b times a so you can note this one down magnetic flux is equal to b times a so we can replace this one with b times a so we are trying to find the relationship between emf and current so now, now let's go ahead and find the so B A over D T and then magnetic field that's the equation for magnetic field that is B is equal to 2 mu no, mu i right so we can replace this B with 2 mu i so we can write this equation as negative 2 mu i also we have a and a so the only changing variable is going to be current current over dt right now if you see since the magnetic if the current decreases, magnetic flux also decrease right so here they have mentioned that uh, in so here the current decreases so they have meant so current i is decreasing with time so if the current decreases, magnetic flux also will decrease, right? Because magnetic flux is different on current. So if current decreases, magnetic flux also decreases. So from this one, we can we can use Lenz law. Lenz law says the magnetic flux always try to maintain uh, in the same same amount in a flux. I mean in a in a plane. So if this magnetic flux is decreasing due to current what happens is this uh, 
to maintain in the same level i mean same maintain the flux in the same way i mean amount yeah to maintain the same amount the magnetic field should be going inside right so since it has to go inside if you use your right hand rule and curl your hand towards inside you will see the current will go in this direction that is clockwise right so this is clockwise so if it's going going in clockwise you will see it should go through B to A so that's going to be the direction in this resistance so we can say this current induced current go through B to A and that's going to be the answer for this question I hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time